Hello, hello. I am um, playing around with my window feeds. Oh man, this is going horribly. Um, because uh, let's see here. Hold on. Back here? Nope. There we go. I've been playing around with my <clears throat> window feeds here to try to have everything kind of show up. It's uh, we'll see how this goes. So many. So many songs, so many songs. Um, sorry, unrelated to shanties. Why did Dahan jump? Um, Dahan jumped because he thought that that's what his God wanted him to do, um, and that this was that was a final test of faith. Okay, so I had all these um shanties, and uh, I was just trying to figure out what was the best way to to go over these things because man there's a lot of them and uh i didn't want to do it alone um and but man um i don't know how many of you have seen the pirates of penzan or uh the pirate movie like back in like 1982 1983 this is really really weird time actually where um the Pirates of the Penzan had had I think it had been you know a stage play for a while, and then for some reason they did this this uh, um, mocking parody movie called the Pirate Movie. It came out in nineteen eighty two, and then they did a legitimate Pirates of the Penzan movie with like Kevin Klein that came out in nineteen eighty three. It's really weird. Anyway, um, shanties for the fanfic. Yeah, is, is hopefully you know some of these. Uh... So let's see. Can you make the songs larger? Let's see if I can, uh, let's, um, yeah, let me do that. Um, come on, usually they just, uh, there we go. Better, better. Okay. Okay. All right. So I put like the first uh, like 50 on here. There's actually like maybe 75. There's a few songs too. Like people actually sent in music. So um, let's, let's start out. Let's just see how this goes. Let's see. Let's start out with uh, the rhythm of the row. Um, anyway, I, I, but, but related to the, the shanty thing, I started like Googling all the freaking, uh, like, uh, pirate shanty stuff, like the key and peel and pirates of the Penzan will come up and you realize like, man, the whole pirate culture thing is just kind of a ridiculous invention of Hollywood and, and, uh, entertainment and, and plays, but whatever. Okay. The rhythm of the row by Harley Southwell. Oh, um, Oh, the reaver's might, our sails, sails unfurled. From our island we rape the world. We'll reave and pillage with hearts on gold. Where water is salt, are none so bold. From Bear Island's shores to Starfall's keep, our black ship sails the waters deep. We've plundered Fair Isle, her treasures untold. Lannisport burned, her riches untold. Cragsport's cliffs echoes our battle cries. As we sailed beneath the sunset skies, the arbor's riches, wine and gold, our plundering days forever unfold. Northmen, rivermen, they cannot fight. An ironborn man with such fierce might, westermen and reachmen, they all fall as we answer the drowned one's call. Okay. No, you know? So we've got, I like Somali uh, pirate songs the most. It might be, um, <laughs> please don't destroy my dream i don't know i don't know what else we're gonna do here um unacceptably sober for this well jesus it's like it's like 9 30 my time hold on jesus christ
All right, fine. All right, morning, morning drinking. Okay. Morning drinking. <sighs> nice cider in the morning. <sighs> Tyrion starts drinking in the morning. What's the problem? You're right. You're right. Okay. That's uh, one down. One down. Um, what is Dead May Never Die by Lincoln Maurice. Um Oh, he actually has like some music, some music to this, but uh, um, at least the melody. Um, what is dead may never die. When you've heard the reaving cry, our anchors drop, we climb atop. The part forgotten to protect, the part that you neglect. We've come to seize and collect. What is dead may never die, the sirens dread. When we sail by, our sails bring fear. When we sail near, the bays of any town shudders. When we, when we steering in ironborn rudders, our mark, they will not soon forget. What is dead may never die. What is dead may never die, but rises harder and stronger. Man, it really... <sighs> the rises harder and stronger thing, like, that's a dick joke, right? That is, like, it must, like... That's George R. Martin's dick joke, yeah. Um, I do like the the rhyming of rudder and shudder. That's a uh, it's a good rhyme, you know. I'm still trying to get to, you know. We're looking for some 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 uh some pirates of the Penzan like greatness, like you know. Um, some of those some of those ditties were were pretty good, like. Um, all tail who plows the sea, you know, want, want, want that kind of like metaphor, plowing the sea. Um, all right, let's see. Death, 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 death by Cameron Ritson. All right, this one, I think Cameron said that this had, 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 um, was supposed to be like, there's a song called, uh, um, by Tism. You know the Australian band that uh, that uh, I think he said this was like. Um, all right. Oh, one, two, three, four. Sword, axe, knife. Cuts, cuts, cuts. Wolf, bear, lion. Guts, cuts, cuts. Death, 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 death. Oh, one, two, three, four. Sword, axe, knife. Scrape, scrape. Maiden, mother, crone. Rape, rape, rape. Death, 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 death. A one, two, three, four, north, north, west. Hack, hack, hack. Slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. Attack, attack. Hmm. Hmm. This also has another. Did this? Did he post this song? Um, I, I, I was looking at Pirates of Penzan here. This is why you're gonna see. Uh... Oh, this is uh to the tune of, of. Of something, okay. All right, one more. Okay. I sing thus, the sun goes down behind the mountains. Shadows grow longer o'er the hills. The night is soon to come. Dark, it is in every village. Under the stars, the sun is gone. Soon we will leave the shore. Blood on steel and splintered wood. She will stay under my roof. It is dawn, we sail home, then I go to rest. That one's quite pretty. That one's quite pretty. I don't know if it's like Ironborn sh like Ironborn Shanty, but it's uh this would be like a like a slower, like a slower um uh like Ironborn song. Um It's actually very George R. R. Martin in, in in its uh in its style. Um like blood on steel and splintered wood. Um, that's a poem, not a song. <laughs> it's, it's a nice, you know, it's a nice. Ailstorm basically already wrote an Ironborn song if you could ever want. Um, all right, Dagmer's Jaw. For those who don't remember, like Dagmer Clefjaw, there's apparently a a like song for 
for his uh how he got his his like cleft jaw like which isn't you know an axe to the face I totally don't believe anyone would live after getting a an axe to the face to split your jaw in medieval times. <laughs> you know? um, uh, Lewis Prescott. Um, the blade was sharp, the axeman fierce, and the strike was clean and true. Dagmar's jaw was split and pierced, pierced where once there was a mouth, now there was two. Yet Dagmar did not fall in his place and the strength in his arms remained. When confronted by the drowned god's embrace, he turned his enemy's pride to pain. Dagmar cut the warrior down in a stroke, while through split jaw and shattered teeth he smiled. He turned all the Greenlander villages to smoke, and returned to Pike undefiled. Some, yeah. Some good pieces to that. All right. <laughs> Ironborn medical technology is... <laughs> Where do you get the Dagmar song? And then the Clash of Kings, they mentioned that, that he was, he's, he's in a, he's, he's really into singing and, and loves to hear the specific song about his jaw. <laughs> Tis a scratched. Um, my mother told me by Pedro Enrique Bahia. <clears throat> My mother told me someday I will buy <clears throat> galleys with good oars, sails to distant shores. My mother told me someday I will buy galleys with good oars, sails to distant shores. Stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to heaven. Hew many foemen, hew many foemen. My mother told me someday I will buy galleys with good oars, sail to distant shores. My mother told me someday I will buy galleys with oars, sails to distant shores. Stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to heaven, hew many foes. Hew, hey, 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 someday. That's my best. I mean, these are, these are, these are me, me, like, you know, singing with, no, <laughs> coming up with a melody and tune, like, you know. Like immediately on the spot here. Um, <laughs> wake me up when Carmine Carmine joins and sings. I don't know if I could get him to sing. You know, he might he might join. Um, but uh, we'll see. The Reaver of the Seven Kingdoms by Nathaniel Stender. Um, a northern maid along the way. We caught her by the dew, and by the time the day was done. We'd slew her brothers too. The westerman he pays in gold. The gold flows from our prey. Our iron price be mighty nice and we intend to pay. We took the spoils of the reach, a singer and a stooge. But anyway, you cut the main, they'll know they're gonna lose. The Vale Lord stayed to fight. His men at arms gave flight. With all his might upon his right, he still drowned in the stew. Rivermen along the trident, we stir along their dikes. Long ships make the journey silent to make some brand new pikes. <laughs> he puts, I hate this quadrant, feel free to reach you all. <laughs> we board the ships of Dorne, their spears, their whips, now on their hip, uh, now on our hips, because we're iron born. Yeah, the, um, yeah, the 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 running theme of of like uh, um, people choosing like uh, uh, all around the world kind of things, like from Dorne to North. You know, we've seen a lot of songs like this. All right. Um, <laughs> I was expecting costume changes, choreography. What kind of production value is this? <clears throat> Carmine's Let's Talk Dirty to Our Girlfriend stream is behind a paywall. Man. I just couldn't imagine like Carmine talking dirty, talking dirty to uh talking like sweet like whispering sweet nothings in a uh That'd be a that's a, that'd be an odd one. Um Father Ocean by Barry Keegan. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> oh, Father Ocean, clutch me to your breast. Unite me with my brothers drowned east and west. From south bring them to me, and also from the north. Let all born of iron in our ships go forth. O Father Ocean, raise the high sea, the high sea, the high, the sea stone chair. Aid us in bringing the storm's god, storm god down in despair. Sweep over the great wide Greenland fields. Bring all of them low and make them all yield. O Father Ocean, take me to your breast, down to your watery halls where I may finally rest. A lot of these are really long. I was I was actually expecting like like uh fairly fairly short stuff um <laughs> the um <laughs> whichever of these goes with the fanfic i will say i will sing while i fish at the beach yes um, how will you decide which one to use? Hey, you know, the ones that are good. The ones that the one based on my complete like subjective opinion and and I mean, I'm sure if like people in the comments are like, "Oh my god, that one's great." Like it, it'll probably, you know, sway me in some way. Yeah. Um But I was I was I was expecting. So, let's get let's get to um I started at I started at number ten, right? So let's let, let's do ten, and then, um, and then we'll 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 go over the one I wrote, and Glytus actually wrote music to the one I wrote, um, which is uh interesting. Um, <laughs> you're no Liam Clancy, but I think you're doing pretty good so far. All right, here we go. Um. Lord Arthen. See, I'm, I'm scared to play the music because of like copyright stuff. Um, uh, okay, okay. It's famous German pirate song. Am I gonna? Is this? Uh, I think maybe I'll be able to play this. Okay. Lord Arston Greyjoy, our, div our Lord Divine, advised by a dark. Lord Arston Greyjoy, our Lord Divine. Advised by a dark man's appeal. And like the storm god's ruthless sign, feared all over the sunset sea, he's the drowned god's favorite son. Ironborn go on, 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 put their heads on a spike. We're all, we are the hell of pike. Do, 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 do. A cra a uh, uh, a crimson crack and pierce down from the mast. On the ground, rats hush about. The vessels gripped in the stranger's grasp. Her sails engulfed by shadows devout. On a starboard mirling, we go raiding. Put their heads on a spike. Still rules the hells of Pike. We have the storm god on deck, we ride the flood, our hall adorned in freshly cut blood. We have no septins here to laud, we indulge in drink and sword. Dancing music sounds across the sea, ironborn come, hey, hey, hey. Put their heads on a spike, so lives the hells of pike. And this our cause is the last raiding fray. Let us sink it in and rejoice. We take and die the iron way, paying the iron price among green algae and white sand. Ironborn strand, 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 put their heads on a spike, so dies the hells of pike. You know. 
<laughs> um, yeah, should I be using, should I be using, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, should I be using like more piratey voices? Is this the, uh, <laughs> is this why people rehearse? Of course it is. Of course it is. Is this why people like practice and like, you know, do voice lessons and, and all sorts of stuff, you know? Um, Three Finger Hob by Matthew McPhee. Um, wasn't three, isn't Three Finger Hob uh, the cook at the wall? I think this got into his subconscious and he was like, Three Finger Hob, that sounds like an Ironborn name, you know? Um, Three Finger Hob had a mighty big knob and he reaved the sunset coast. His rock wife and salt wives all fought for his knob. Forty bastards he could boast. One terrible night a thrall chopped off his knob and fed it to a kraken below. But what is dead is never dies and rises again, harder and stronger before. Some variations are possible, such as, such as Three Finger Hub. He might have a big knob and he reaped the Sunset Sea. <laughs> Yes, and then he went to the wall. <laughs> I sing like a British boy. When I think British boy, I think like, You're banning me with my questions. I have to tell you lies. You're always asking me what it's all about, so listen to my reply. You say that I don't talk enough, but when I do, I'm a fool. You know, that's like... That's like British boy, right? <laughs> which which is kind of rare because like, so naturally speaking, like people like, um, because rock and roll is an American invention. Like when people sing rock and roll or, or pop, like people kind of naturally go to an American accent. Um, and so it's, it's a little, it's like when people sing in British accents while like doing rock, it's like almost intentional. It's the same when, when people like, do hip hop they they seemingly put on a black scent because you know it's a uh, you know rap is is you know created by the black community and stuff like that but um <laughs> those, those last three lines are fine so um all right let's see now let's go back that was that was uh we got the three finger hob all right, let's go let's go let's go to the beginning let's let's, let's go over uh my my uh my uh my one which <clears throat> chumbawamba chumbawamba wasn't chumbawamba actually like like a really revolutionary like like anti-establishment kind of like post-punk band and then all of a sudden they did their knockdown song which is just like you know, the biggest earworm you can have in the year 1999. Um, <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. So mine was called, mine's cold to now. Um, and, and I kind of in first envisioned it like, um, like cold to now, Hair and skin so pale, cold Danelle, unfurl my battered sails. Cold Danelle, your cry is in their wails. I'll swim the watery halls with cold Danelle. Like that's that's kind of how like I envisioned it. Now, um, uh, Glytus actually did a did a version. Let me let, actually wait. Let's let's uh let's see if I have this on the uh. Um, <laughs> people are like, I keep going back to my, um, let me find, I must have, Glytus's version here. Where, see, I don't, I don't like, um.
Where is this? Where is this? A little wave. I'll just have to download it again. Um, so I'm not, I'm not finding it here. Okay. Um, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Let's get into, uh, where, where's my, where's my Galatus? People like looking at my email here. Here we go. Da, 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 private messages between me and Galitis. Um, let's turn this off so that people can't read this shit. What the fuck? What am I? What am I fucking doing? Um, no, fucking pages. There we go. Come on. Turn this off. Uh, entire screen. What is this? What is this? This is horrible. I can never like. I can never um. Get to the right. Thing. <sighs> um. <laughs> send him an email to come in. I mean, keep in mind, like late, late at night, I, you know, so I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm letting, I'm letting people show up who, who happen to be up. I sent him an email now that just, they should pop up. It just, the subject just says, dear Preston, fuck you. <laughs> um, he had, okay, here it is. Ah, found it. God damn it. Where's my, let's, let's download this. Uh, God damn it. Can I just fucking download this shit? Why isn't it just allowing me to download right here? <sighs> God damn it. Can you can you guys hear this? Cold tunnel, and skin so pale. Cold tunnel, unfurl my back. It says, Cold Daniel, your cry is in their wills. I'll swim the watery holes with cold Daniel. All right. So now the one thing is I, I thought that was a little, um, uh, slow. So I had, I had, um, I had sped it up. Let me, let me open my final cut here. If I, did I, did I leave that one? Uh, ah, uh, well, No, it's going to take too long. I don't think I actually saved it. No. That's too bad. The, um, I'd sped it up because, um, and it's funny because it was like, it came out sounding like, um, Pippin in, uh, I, I put it on four a four speed 
And and it was very funny because it like sounds like Pippin because he's like, Cold Danelle, hair and skin so pale. Cold Danelle, unfurl my battered sails. Cold Danelle, your cry is in their wells. I'll swim the watery halls with Cold Danelle. <laughs> Very lovely voice, whoever that was. Yeah, that was that was Gladys. That was Gladys. Um, all right, here. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. More tech issues. More tech issues. Where? What? 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 This is my. Uh, this window must have got a little too large. Gotta, gotta re redo this. Um. Yeah, I think I did this and then brought this over, brought this over. Now this needs to be larger. <clears throat> okay. What's wrong with this? Where's my comments? Okay. I just replayed it at 1.5 speed and it's perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the idea be, be to, behind Cold and Now is just, you know, like, um, it's, uh, it's supposedly about a, um, a stillborn, um, a stillborn daughter. And so, and a, and a reaver who goes into, into battle, who, um, who, uh, is mourning his, his stillborn daughter. Um, and so, uh, and so I was thinking about it with Victorian. Victorian, you don't hear about it very much, but Victorian's like first, um, first wife dies in childbirth along with their daughter. And so he's, you know, kind of, kind of, uh, God damn, what the, when, when you're on the wrong window and then you. You freaking do something weird. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's do the Wayward King. Um, the Wayward King by Alex Sandground. Um, is long. To Naga's hill they sail with claims of kingship on their prows to set the driftwood crown upon a lesser brows. To Naga's hill they sail with claims of bloodline on their lips to set the iron seas beneath the rules of lesser ships. To Naga's hill they sail a hundred kings, a hundred songs. But why can I not see my brother there amidst their throng? Brother mine, Godspeed, the sea-sown chair grows bare and cold. Let not our iron rune fall to poisonous promises of gold. Brother mine, delay. The winds may keep me from my due. I may not make the king's moot, though my claim is strong and true. Brother mine, Godspeed. The time is short when we might act. Let us not our covetous kinfolk strip the steel from our back. Brother mine, take heed. The storm god will not see me through. I shall not make the king's moot, brother. Our kingdom lies with you. Um, and then we go to, also from Alex, the Iron Lord. The Green Lord was a wealthy man, his wife a lumbering sow. He fed her 16 times a day and milked her like a cow. Her tail spread out far and wide, that wench of famous size. The Iron Lord was a reaving man, and fancied her a prize. With threescore iron cow he sailed, who'd never know defeat. The Iron Man stole in the night, and buggered his lordly seat. They buggered his lordly seat, red with blood, red with shame, soft as 
his land of green. The Iron Lord claimed his golden wife, and ne'er again was seen, and ne'er again was seen. The Green Lord called his uh, armies forth and marched them to the shore. He paid for three score ships to come and dip a dainty door or his eyes were dim. He could not read the potent, the portents of the brine. The waves were high, the wind astir. But not he did divine, but not did he divine the iron lands to set their course with valor in their heads. The sea god turned them over and took them up the arse. He took them up the arse. Red with blood, red with shame, lubberly seasick green. He sh his ship sunk down the salty depths, and ne'er again were seen, and ne'er again were seen. Whew. <laughs> Preston's got to do a finger dance at the end of the stream. The green lord washed up on their shore. They dragged him to his foe, and he washed his bride so glad to bed, and three score men to t in tow. He went down on his hands and knees and pleaded for his life. Just see me safe to my keep. You can keep my wife. The Ironborn laughed. The Iron Lord laughed, took it out his axe, and she is the sword as well. Before I send you home again, there's one more thing I'll tell. Whenever I raid the Greenlands, I shall keep her board my boat. He clove his head clean off right there. And piss straight down his throat. Oh, Jesus. Piss straight down his throat. Red with blood, red with shame. No more the Lord of Green. He faced his might of ironborn. And ne'er again was seen. And ne'er again was seen. <laughs> oh, my. Um, That's a, a, an offensive one. That's a, that's, 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 wor that's like some worse than, worse than Euron kind of, uh kind of stuff um the salt king by alexi kotalti <clears throat> the salt king sent a word to isles to get together a crew with might a hundred ships a thousand men countless dreams dreaming eyes the kingly crew it sailed to east to reeve to rape to take and feast a hundred fights a thousand deaths countless bloody cries their enemies to last had ceased but still the salt king was not pleased a hundred crowns a thousand towns countless saltless salty wives they sailed on the ends of seas to find treasure no one had seen <clears throat> a hundred days a thousand miles they never sailed back home <clears throat> I am surprised that um, that Carmine has not called called in yet to to make fun of me, but he's probably doing his uh, his his laundry. <laughs> um, that's very funny. This isn't the time or place, but did you ever read Animorphs, the book with the goofy ass covers? No, no, no. The strange version of the Golden Shower. I mean. Could not imagine like beheading somebody and like just and then peeing down the beheaded corpse's throat is a is a pretty um it's a pretty um <clears throat> it's a pretty uh pretty gruesome um Yeah, I can't tell if Preston has problems with the meter or the, or the subs. No, I have. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, I just kind of you kind of go in and and uh, and you uh, and you try to try to figure it out. Um, ah, the Iron Price by Jeffrey Addison. I appreciate this one because it is the right link. <laughs> this is what this is. So uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey gets my praise um, uh, right, right off the bat. Okay. A flagon of wine might cost a few coppers, for we pay the iron price. Silver so shiny for a smile and kiss, but we pay the iron price. A dragon or stag, it makes no difference. 
because we pay the iron price. I wonder if I'm I'm getting the meter. Let's try that a little different. It'd be more like. <clears throat> Like if one, if one group is singing like a flagon of wine might count, may cost a few coppers for we pay the iron price silver. So shiny for a smile and kiss for, but we pay the iron price a dragon or stag makes no difference. We pay the iron price. La da 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 da. We pay the iron price. You know that that like something like that. Yeah. But I appreciate I appreciate the the, the brevity. Um. Let's see here. <laughs> the iron price is the best so far. Um. <laughs> He's, I think he's waiting for you to finish singing so the chat doesn't pressure him to. <laughs> um, I uh, I don't know if the singing will ever end. So 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 uh, yeah. Okay, there, there there'll be Gly first of all, Glytus has his own song, you know, to to wet everyone's appetite, um, to wet to wet everyone's appetite. There is a Glytus song. Um, let's see here. Okay. The Captain's Wife by Sam Rudy. A minor D7, G, E7. Hmm. Okay. A sailboard, a sailboat left stony. St hmm. Sailboat left stormy shores one dark and windy. <coughs> a sailboat left stormy shores one dark and windy day. It left upon the high tide and was never seen again. The sailors' wives they cried, they cried their eyes till tears filled up the bay. But the captain's wife, her eyes were dry. She had this to say. My love and I will be together once again, I know. She waved goodbye, then the tide scratched her, scratched her from the shore. I'm getting my meter wrong here. Fiery eyes and calloused hands drove her through the waves. She repeated, together once again. As nighttime struck, the wind it howled, her ship began to groan. She lashed herself tight to the mast to keep her from being thrown. Her vessel failed beneath her as the sea snapped it in twain. She whispered together once again. Her world was nothing and not even darkness could be seen. Her world was nothing and not even darkness could be seen. Nothing to feel nor ponder not left a thing to be, no way to dwell on her last failure and futility, nothing to be together once again. A bright nose noise held her tight as sight came flooding in. She sucked down a breath of air as her world began to spin. A strong voice spoke. At once she forgot about her pain. It said, my love, we are together once again. In one quick stroke, joy turned to ash, and she began to rise. She glanced on her down and spied the captain sink to his demise. Tears sprung from her eyes, and they descended down as rain. We'll never be together again, never together again. What a sad tale. <laughs> what a sad, what a sad, what a sad story. What a sad tale. Oh, well. <laughs> me, me about to drop my dissert dissertation. Don't forget the capo. That's like the, um, 
It's like the secret to every Beatles song. Everybody's like, Beatles songs are so weird. Like, nothing's GCD. Well, it's because they, 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 they put a capo on. They, they put a capo on. Um, the Fearsome Ironborn by John McDermott. And I, I, I praise this one as well for being the right link. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> huh. Okay. I think this one might fit to the meter of, of, um, uh, the Pirates of Penzance song. Um, so I'm going to try that. Come all ye fearsome iron men across the sleeves. We <laughs> Come all fearsome iron men across the seas. We fly high cracking banners tall. No, that's not going to work. <laughs> fearsome iron men across the seas. We fly Cracking banners raised tall by the drowned god call by the drowned god's call from the iron lands whence we came will raid the Greenland rock bright shores. <laughs> that won't work at all. Come, <clears throat> come, all ye fearsome iron men across the seas we fly. Cracking banners raised tall by the gra drowned god's call. Hmm. How am I getting that second to to rhyme? Come all ye fearsome iron men, across the seas we fly, cracking banners raised tall by the drowned god's call. For the iron lands once we came, we'll raid the Greenlanders' rush, lush ripe shores, for it's the iron price we pay, and we'll sail our long ships to the war in House Greyjoy's name. The rhyme, I, I'm trying to figure out the rhyming structure here because it's came and name, but this tall and call. There must, there must be something. There must be something. I'm sure in his head, like there, there was a, there was a, a, a an okay. And keep in mind, keep in mind, like I have to go back and check which, which people sent songs because some of these. There was actually a song too, so um, I, I I feel bad if I'm missing um, passing over um, um, that. Okay, the bloody red cup. Um, this is the uh, I guess named for the actual Ironboard song um, by Seth Robinson. <clears throat> we sailed the seas with a fearsome crew. They raided tall ships, fat. We sailed the seas with a fearsome crew, with a fearsome crew. They raided tall ships, fat town. But nothing was better, he knew, than drinking his bloody cup down. O oh, Reaver's bloody red cup, he filled it rum, bone, and gore, and drank it down in a single gulp, and then he went and took more. Oh, Reaver's bloody red cup, he filled it rum and bone. Oh, the Reaver's bloody red cup, he filled it rum, bone, and gore. He drank it down in a single gulp, and then he went and took more. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I'm uninspired finding a, finding a me melody. <laughs> the, the Ironborn invented opera. Probably. Probably. <laughs> There's so many options. Narrowing it down to 10 is going to be challenging in itself. I mean, <laughs> narrowing it down to like three is going to be like... Um... <clears throat> The Price of Iron by Teddy uh, Caliendo. We do not sow seeds. We do not cut wheat. We feed the only... Hmm. We 
We do not sow seeds, we do not cut wheat, we feed only we feed only the crows, your widows will weep, we your keeps will be stormed, your children will cower, wherever the wave is formed, our iron will scour. To try try to hide behind your hay, but the iron price we will pay. I I I appreciate again the the nice the nice length. Okay. Man, we've gotten through, gotten through 20, gotten through 20. All right, let's, um, what are my, what are my others? What are my others here? Cause let's, let's see what other, uh, what other songs, what other songs I got. What was this one? There once was a young lad from the Isles In every port for countless miles No woman yet returned his smiles For an ironborn must set sail Of all the tales and victories won Of all the plunder he had none So take to the waves our iron son The ironborn will set sail for land and warmth a man needs gold, and the rocks give not but wind and cold. So take as much as your ships can hold, the ironborn will set sail. The dragon's throne is far away, and the Greenland cowards always pay. So men of the isles read and say, the ironborn will set sail. The toughest keeps and the tallest walls hide the fairest maids in the richest halls Until the last of the green lords falls, the ironborn will set sail And when waves rise and mountains fall, and we all feast in the drowned gods hall Beneath the sea and through it all, the ironborn will yet sail! Alright, alright. <clears throat> cool. Who is singing now? That was um, Hi uh, Harlan Bird. Harlan Bird singing on that one. Um, that's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> you could submit. Could narrow it down to only those who submitted audio tracks. <laughs> that's true. Okay. Let's see here. I did a little head banging. Um, those chaps have talents, guts. Yes, yes. <clears throat> what to do with a drunken Iron Man? What to do with a drunken Iron Man? What to do with a drunken Iron Man early in the morning? Um, okay. The Angry Squid. The angry squid is sailing the seas, sailing past the city of Lys. Lys, Lys. The angry squid is sailing the seas, sailing past the city of Lys, past Valyria, into Slaver's Bay. He didn't come all this way to trade. Angry at his brother. Oh, this is, this is like actually about Victorian. The angry squid is sailing the seas, Sailing past the city of Lice, past Valyria to Slaver's Bay, he didn't come to trade, it's his way to trade. Angry at his brother, who's now a king, who sent him to the east to find him a queen. She's quite a beauty, we hear them sing, a dragon queen in the city of Maroon. But the angry squid has another plan, he'll marry the queen because he can. Her dragons will join his iron fleet, together they'll make the iron seat. The angry squid rules the seas, the dragon queen rules the skies. They'll take the land from their enemies. What is dead may never die. Ah, uh, seas and seas, seas, 
and lice run sees lease lease lice sees lease lease He never killed or raped the ladies. He, he he was nice. Did you ever see? Uh, there's uh like the Key and Peele, I like pirate shanty is they they're like socially progressive, you know. They're like, and then we can't we came to the woman and we you know and she was drunk and so we left because that was the appropriate thing to do. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Lee's, 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 Lee's nuts is this the idea? Lee's, 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 Lee's nuts. I always think it's funny, like, but like I say, it's 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 always like the uh, you can make, you can make everything like fantasy or sci-fi by just changing the letters because you know clearly, like you know, in a fantasy world, eyes are wise, man. That's how you know it's fantasy. It's just like aliens use Q's and X's and Z. It's like, you know, Quizaxian. Um, Steel Reigns by Kalago. Beneath a darkened sky where thunder roars, legends are born in the midst of wars. I can work better on that. Beneath a darkened sky where thunder roars, legends are born in the midst of wars. The clash of swords, the, the cries of pain, a tale of courage in steel reigns. Oh, hear the echoes, the battle cry. As warriors march, their spirits fly. In the heart of chaos, where honor remains, we stand united through steel reigns. Through fields of fire, we march ahead. Fearless soils with hearts of lead. With every step, we defy the fear. In face of danger, we we persevere. Oh, hear the echoes of battle cry as warriors march, their spirits fly. In the heart of chaos where honor remains, we stand united through steel reigns. Through the steel reigns. I think it works better without the the, but. Bridge. With it. <laughs> Whatever, whenever there's a bridge for some in, in songs, I always like I'm reminded of of Country Roads' bridge, you know. Down out the town, out the town in the morning. Oh, no, 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 yesterday. I don't know why. I always just like immediately think of Country Roads, Country Roads' bridge. Um, maybe because it's a, it's a quite abrupt but very good bridge. Um, with every clash, our spirits rise. <laughs> the steel rains fa fall from darkened skies. We forge our destiny with every blow, bound by the oath that we all know. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not how an Ironborn song would go. But in the aftermath, we count the cost. Battered and scarred, we're never lost. For victory is just in the gain. It's in the courage to face steel reins. Uh, oh, hear the echoes of the battle cry as warriors march, their spirits fly. In the hearts of chaos where honor remains, we stand united through steel reins. Through the darkest nights, we've never yield, we'll never yield. Our spirits unbroken, our fate sealed. For in our veins, the warrior's blood flows. And in steel reigns, our legend grows. There's there's some there's some good in there. There's some uh, there's some there's some nice uh, some nice imagery in there. Steel reigns, again by <laughs> Country Roads has a bridge. <laughs> oh man, Country Roads' bridge is like the best part of Country Roads. Okay.
I hear her voice in the morning hour she calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. Driving down the road, I get a feeling that I should have been home yesterday. Yesterday. Country roads take me home to the place where I belong. <clears throat> okay. One cider down. <clears throat> um, the other steel rain. Maybe we should sing it like chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. A man won't fear storm or shadows. A man. Oh, there's a meter kind of thing here. Okay. A man won't fear storm or shadows. A man won't fear, won't know pain or sorrows. A man won't know more tomorrows. No. When a man sees the sight of steel rain, steel rain, steel rain, I come now, I come now to see you again. A man can claim widows and thralls. A man can climb cliff sides and walls. A man can clear surges and squalls. When a man's heard the sound of still rain, still rain, still rain, I come now, I come now to see and hear you again. A man should feel free of all doubt now. A man should know what he's about now. A man should be shouting a shout now. A man knows the touch of still rain. Still rain, still rain. I come now, I come now to see and to hear and to touch you again. A man'll be fiercer and harsher, a man'll be quicker and sharper, a man'll be stronger and harder. When a man's drunk, he's fill of still rain. Still rain, still rain, I come now, I come now, to see and to hear and to touch and taste you. Again and again and again. Which song of ice and fire card would be a deadhead? I think they all would, because they're all uh, they're all George R. Martin's um, <laughs> creations. Hoping purple. I was hoping purple rain. Purple steel rains. Steel rains. Okay. Um, The Golden Ships by Jonathan Bell Hutchinson. Oh my God, it's so long. <laughs> From Old Town to Bear Isle, Corin sacked them all the same. From High Tower they sailed, a thousand women bound in chains. The crashing of the waves left men terrified in vain. Golden ships, the gold, the drown god toes. And we'll reeve and we'll rape when the ravens take to flight. And we'll reeve and we'll rape whilst the forest burns so bright. And we'll reeve and we'll rape as the sweet wine drowns our sights. Golden ships the drown god tows. Harwin raided so many from the stepstones to lice. Over land his ships were carried from the, the trident lords asleep. King Eric fled in fear whilst as river men did weep. Golden ships... The drowned god toll toes, and we'll reeve and we'll rape, and we'll when the ravens take flight, and we'll reeve and we'll rape while the forest burns so bright, and we'll reeve and we'll rape as the sweet ones drowned our sight. Golden ships, the drowned god toes. Lastly came Black Heron and his castle greatly known. 
The dragons heard his screams whilst he melted on his throne. The house whore did perish within Harrenhal's black stone. Golden ships the drowned god tows. And will reeve and will rape when the ravens take flight. And will reeve and will rape whilst the forests burn so bright. And will reeve and will rape as the sweet round drowns our sight. Golden ships the drowned god tows. The Greenlanders are safe from the mountains to the shore. We knelt to Aegon's dragons, but the tides have soothed their roars. For iron and for salt, we're not knowing any more. Golden ships, the drowned god tows. <clears throat> the, um... I don't know if it's chance, but the, the, the chorus, the chorus was, uh, was quite fun on that one. All right. Give over by Micah Drengler. It's the right length. Okay. Give over, give over. Don't shrink from the oar. Don't die with your boots still dry. For the dry on God is calling. Give over, give over. What is dead may never die. I quite like this one a lot. Um, give over, give over, don't shrink from the oar. Don't die with your boots still dry. For the drowned god is calling, give over, give over. What is dead may never die. I think um, I really like that line, don't die with your boots still dry. That's a, that's a, that's a very good line. Wasn't the raping part more show than books? It's true. I mean, it's funny because, because the example that we get of like the Ironborn being Ironborn is like the taking of the Shield Islands, which is pretty harsh. Um, but at the same time, like Victorian is clearly uncomfortable with what they're doing. You know, like he was in battle and he sees them as honorable fighters. The, the, and and so like he respects them. And then when he, he sees like the desecration of like their women and everything at, and, and their liege lords as like a negative thing. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 it is it is. um. It is a bit more book than show, but it's, uh, um, but at the same time, they do have the concept of salt wives. So they're clearly like kidnapping, kidnapping women. But I think there, there was the, you know, the, 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 the sheer disrespect of, of the shield islands is what got, is what got Victorian. All right. Hard men by Rachel Bow. Um, I, I think Rachel's probably in here. So like, let's see here. Um, uh, ba uh, part one, bases. Hard men rule the world. Part two, baritones and tenors. Maybe some altos. Hard as stone and hard as men and harder than iron. We live to reap, we do not sow. Stony, it is stony hearted men who live to rule the world. I would have to, I'd have to like, I'm, I'm sure I'm getting this whole arrangement wrong. <laughs> you know, the, uh, um, Hey Preston, wrote the Fearsome Iron Man to the tune of the Fighting 69th by the Wolf Tones. Thanks for your rendition and all you do for us. Cheers. Um, Licenses. I've got to check the like licenses and stuff. 
yeah, I think if I play that, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be copyright struck, unfortunately. <clears throat> um. Okay. Let me grab. Let me grab another drink, and then we'll uh, maybe play another song. All right, hold on. early morning drinking is what you you have me have me doing here okay okay um see you in my stomach by beyond the stars <clears throat> Seaweed in my stomach, barnacles on my bones. I'm going home as an imprint cast on stone. I've been searching for some sweetness in the sour sea, but all it's ever gotten me was misery. The white sun like a pearl, the death's cruel bright eye. It watches over all who dwell beneath the sky. I was whittled by knives of wind and seas of salt. As I face the storm, no fe fear lies in my heart. I laugh with phantoms on the shoreline, dripping sand, the black stone booming above a black churning sea. My tongue may dry to wood with starving ash-soaked roots. My skin may fade to dust, my bones may turn to soot. But my name will join the chorus, the dark wind wails, the names of my kin who too lived amid the gales. Like a cliff, I was hammering down by violent squalls. As I faced the storm, I refused to let tears fall. I don't search for redemption in the sea of brine. I have my own conviction, sweet and sharp as wine. My iron skin devoured by shrieking swarms of rust. And my old bones creak as they give away to dust. My veins are threads of fire in a tapestry. Their embers are drowning in oblivion's sea. In a great blaze of glory, I shall be entombed. As I face the storm, I embrace the arms of doom. There is a lot of poetry in that one. I think it's probably like more intelligent than the Ironborn would be, you know? <laughs> but there's a lot of great stuff in here. There's a lot of great imagery. Um, In a sense, it's you know, it, there's parts of it that are very George R. R. Martin, but but it might, it, but it's so it's so like it's so like uh, intelligent and for for uh, for Ironborn. Did the Ironborn write? This is the 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 problem with the um with our ironborn is that we we know the gray joys and you know the rest of the ironborn are actually miners and farmers and so this idea of like an entire culture of of reavers like doesn't make any sense and even like george on some level like recognizes it doesn't make any sense and like describe these other people you know um and so it's 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 all kind of weird like it's um you know that we're, we're we're getting a very poor perception of of it i always kind of compare it to spock like spock's our like base example of vulcan spock a guy who's actually half vulcan who was raised on earth whose dad is married to a human you know <laughs> like it's oh really he's he's our typical vulcan okay you know <laughs> like so <clears throat> 
Toss a coin to your singer. Thanks for the fanfic. The genuinely best thing to come out of it, a song of ice and fire community in recent memory. Thank you, uh, Flesh Bones. That was very nice. Um, let's see here. Let's find another another song. Let's um. Okay. So let's see what I think I have. Where is my, let's play, um, this is Glytus's. Ooh. Hello, Will, hello. <clears throat> hey. let, me, let me, uh, get all the, uh, screens right here. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. Been enjoying the stream. Yes, this is, this is the, um, this is the pain you put me through. Uh, so, so. It's beginning to look like uh, my only goal coming on here is to get you to sing stuff. Last time I was here, I got you to sing some some '90s songs. Yeah, yeah, I know. Now this is happening. So, so Will Will is the one that Will is one of our editors, and uh, he is the one that suggested that there was no um, Ironborn Ironborn songs, and so I put out a call for Ironborn songs, and then just this massive number came back, and then I was like, oh my god, I guess I have to like read these songs because I don't want people <laughs> to think that they just like wrote wrote poems like like open their th their their wrists and like sent blood into the into the the, the void, you know. <laughs> I want to say thank you to everyone who has written and performed all the stuff for us. Uh, did not expect such a response, but it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's certainly fun. Now, I have here um, Glytus's, Glytus's thing. I don't know if this is playing like through um, for you guys or just through my mic. So, uh, but nonetheless, let's see here. Through storm and tempest we sail with might Iron men were bound for the fight With salt in our veins we heed the sea's call Glory and honor will conquer all To the watery halls We'll soon descend With God's embrace Our journeys end With axe and sword We'll carve our name in iron and blood, we'll rise to fame. From the isles, our ships set sail, rivers of old will never fail. With sails unfurled, we ride the waves high, breathing in the salty skies. To the watery halls, we'll soon descend. With God's embrace, our journeys end. With axe and sword, we'll carve our name. In iron and blood, we'll rise to fame. In iron and salt, our souls are bound to the oceans wide where death is found. Only victory shall suffice, our spoils we take by iron price. To the watery halls, we'll soon descend. With God's embrace, our journeys end. With axe and sword, we'll carve our name. In iron and blood, we'll rise to fame. So raise the sails and let the waves guide. Iron one brethren side by side. In battles fierce, fear not, death sing. For the sea will claim us eternal life bring. To the watery halls, we'll soon descend. With God's embrace, our journeys end. With axe and sword, we'll carve our name. In iron and blood, we'll rise to fame. The storm go follows ever nigh, but what is dead may never die. In battle we'll sing, our fate we embrace. To the watery halls, our resting place. To the watery halls, we'll soon descend. With God's embrace, our journeys end. With axe and sword, we'll carve our name. In iron and blood, we'll rise to fame. Well, there it is. I think it's all downhill from there. I think uh, <laughs> that's, our, that's, 
that's our peaks that's our peak song our peak experience there the um it's uh i'm a sucker for like first of all i'm a sucker for any wall of sound in in a uh in, in, in a song but like uh you know the, the 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 doing his own the doing his own like high and low part of the company meant and the 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 minor key change at the uh at, at at the very end i mean it's just like hitting all the right buttons for me <laughs> <laughs> well, that was pretty rocket it was almost metal right yeah yeah oh man man so uh, any anything that you've seen uh so far will that's uh that, that speaks uh to- same as you. I like the shorter ones. I'm like, this could actually fit in the chapter. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that's kind of what I'm yeah, looking no. for. Yeah. A lot of them are good. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, even beyond that, there, there are like going through, I was like, oh, crap. They like, there's some good line here. There's a good line here. You know, like. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Now I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's like, it's all, I almost wish. I almost wish they were like all blanketly bad so that I could like, n- I could just like dismiss them. No, but, but like, a lot of these are like, we could take two lines and just incorporate right. it somewhere. Yeah. Even just have someone say it, like not even have them sing it, but have them like think to themselves like oh, right. about this song as a reference. Right. Cause there's, there's so many, yeah. Thinking to the song, like, Oh, like that song. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. kind of thing. And which and is nice it, to add some flavor without breaking into an actual like song in the right. chapter. Yeah. Which <laughs> this is all from like uh, this is all like like Lord of the Rings kind of uh, kind of stuff happening. I'm, I'm trying to think like yeah yeah in the in the text where George just like breaks down and like starts doing song, and the only example I can really think of where it's just like like they just stop the story for for song is um. Because there, there are times where there's a song in the background and you're not worrying about it. Like, like yeah. we, we learn that we learn the lyrics of bear, uh, the bear and the maiden fair because um, uh, the uh, the Tyrell fool is like is like yelling it in order to like drown out the gossiping that Sansa and Alina are doing. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. But then it's very rare that they like shut down the whole story for a song. And the, the, the only example I think is is like uh, the the last of the giants where like he just like randomly is like okay let's sing this song about giants okay (laughs) yeah (laughs) in the middle of the tale and john john like listens to the whole tale the whole thing and then is like i don't understand there there's still like hundreds of giants (laughs) the last one the last one okay is Preston drunk yet? I've had one cider. I mean, granted, I only had a little bit of breakfast, but like, don't, don't go full Tolkien. It's just like four pages of just song. <laughs> That's all we're doing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing is like, pay, like, Lord of the Rings does have like pages and pages of just like song lyrics. And so when people are like, oh, um, uh, I think Carmine just posted a, um, a video of of me and him talking about Lord of the Rings, and for for people to be, like people say all the time like oh you know the 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 Peter Jackson trilogy really gets the uh, the 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 real heart and soul of Tolkien. And I was like I don't know man, <laughs> he didn't have like twenty minutes in the middle where somebody's just singing a song. <laughs> yeah, it's not all about how beautiful the countryside is and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, seaweed in my stomach uh did i already sing this one no i did i did this is the i think so yeah okay we uh, have a, a call and response i'm willing to do because this one is so short i okay. can do uh you know what i'll do the first line you do the second one then we okay we jump in both for the third one okay okay so something like that okay so you're i'm doing um i'm doing context incomplete you're doing uh, uh, oh, oh, until the sea. Uh, um, then I do just to storm. No, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the the. the no, meter here. I'll do fine summer day. You do putting out to sea. And then we both do that line, right? Oh, oh, right. This context. This is this is this is not actually part of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, this, this is jump in. It was a fine summer day. Putting out to sea. Just me, brother, and me mother, and the old gray king. By storm or sea. 
My fortune waits for me, just me brother and me mother and the old gray king. The old gray king. Um, close enough, close enough. Oh, it was a fine summer day, putting out to sea. Just me and just me, brother and me, mother and the old gray king. By storm or by sea or storm, my fortune waits for me. Just me, my just me, brother, me, me, mother and the old gray king. This this is actually like, even though it's so kind of like this one. <laughs> simple, I, I do really like this one. Um. The, so the also so weirdly the ones I'm kind of biased towards as well is like when it's when it tells a story that's not um uh exactly typical like it's one thing to have like you know there's some very very good like like um uh songs here about like traveling the world and and, and raping and reaving and stuff and even even Glytus is that but I kind of like appreciate ones where it's like some other story yeah this one is just they're happy right it's hopeful. Yeah. And you're like, like oh, this yeah. seems like something you would like sing while setting out, you know, at the beginning of a journey, hoping that things go well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're not going to be singing about misery and death and joining the watery halls right then, right? Yeah. All right. So here is same author, Alexander Imhoff. Um, I drank deep from the bloody cup. Drink up, drink up. No time to sup. We're off to the arbor from a Harlaw Harbor. No time to waste on rowdy boys. I drink deep from the cup. Drink up, drink up. No time to sup. We're off to the rock from old Orkmont. No time to waste on rowing boys. I drink from the cup, from the bloody cup. Drink up, drink up. No time to sup. We're off to lice from the lonely light. No time to waste on rowing boys. And then a longer one from from Alex. (laughs) Let's go. Po- poetic version, poetic, uh, improbable odds. So, pro- probably sung softly on the eve of battle. At Heron's Hall, as the moon was setting, on grey stone walls we sat awaiting. A monster came, set the castle blazing. A beast as terrible and black as night. Then great King Heron took up his blade and bid us stay his like true born, like true, true, bo- true, I born. My sons, he cried with flame in his eyes. We stayed, we stayed and sailed through the storm. There are no prisoners, Aegon the dragon. In these dead halls, a laugh we're having. For Heron's men will rise again. Like tide we rise in the dead of night. Then great King Heron, he burned and fell and bid us well like true iron born. My sons, he moaned with blackened bones. Be well, be well, and sail through the storm. Oh, there's a little bonus one. The Cod Song. Oh, my name carries ill will. Oh, Cod, oh, Cod, what will you do now? (laughs) My name is a shame that buries me still. Oh, Cod, oh, Cod, what will you do now? My arm is as strong as any winch man. Oh, Cod, oh, Cod, what will you do now? I make my way and forever damned. Oh, Cod, oh, Cod, what will you do now? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. So, what else has been going on with you, Will? Anything, uh... Uh... This and that. Have to get to the, <laughs> uh... The editing, as you're aware. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But the, um, it'll it'll happen. It'll happen. It'll happen. Yeah. No. So I'm going on. Um, I, I have to go to a wedding in America next week. So I'm not going to stream on. Oh. Sunday. So uh, I'll, where I'll, about? Uh, like Seattle, Portland. Oh, okay. Going in that area. Not my neck of the woods. No. 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 Um. So I got to go to I got to go to a wedding in in Portland. So I'm flying into Seattle, driving down to 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 um Portland with the fam. And uh, it's uh, you know we'll we'll see how it goes because because traveling with traveling with two kids is is, is a pain, but um, yeah yeah um, but I'll be gone like a week. But you know if if uh like I I feel like Victorian is almost done. So as yeah. as as crazy and vulgar as it is and weird, um, it's gonna be a quick yeah. finish. Yeah yeah yeah. Um, I mean it's only like you know um. The whole thing's short and, and our, our addition to George's chapter 
is short. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice um, having the beginning of the chapter so we can kind of keep the tone just kind of going from yeah, yeah. From that example. Yeah, and Victorian's tone is like very different from the rest of um, Ice and Fire. But you know, going over going over um, Victorian and Tyrion, I've come up with my my Quentin. I've come up with my Quentin chapter. So I may. Oh, is that next? I may announce. Yeah, I mean, I'm still working on Bran, but like, I I may I may um if I have the time after this, if if you know um to uh to go uh to go into um uh what Quentin's doing um. But man, the timeline, the timeline on like Victorian, Tyrion and Barrison and everything is just kind of weird. And um, so I'm just trying to, but essentially the plan is like once Barristan is out of the gates, Skahaz is going to start executing um, Danny's cupbearers and, mm-hmm. and, and a riot will be out and about in, um, in that chapter. So um and uh, and this is all according to plan for skahas the whole barristan thing i think according to plan for skahas yeah okay I mean, he's just declaring himself king and like you know um now, skahas assumes barristan's not coming back in the city well he has control over the walls <laughs> yeah so, you know the 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 unsullied have been replaced with the brazen beasts on the walls so nobody's coming back in so essentially the plot i think is going to be um you know, Quentin, Quentin is watching from his, from his pyramid. Um, and there's riots in the city. I was thinking of the opening line being, being beheading the children proved to be folly as, as like the first, the first line, um, as he, he can kind of see like that they brought the children out to a, to a, to a plaza, they were beheaded and then people went nuts, you know? Um, mm-hmm. and then, um, and then you kind of go into backstory about like his pain of being burned and maybe, maybe how he escaped. And then, um, Miss Sandy is going to show up to the, uh, pyramid requesting Quentin's help because she, she wants the, the Southern gates opened because her brother is outside with the mother's men. And, um, hmm. and that'll be kind of like, that. that's what I'm thinking. I, you know, I haven't, I haven't written it down or like, like, um, because sometimes when I write this down, like and, and troubleshoot it, I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense. But, um, but uh, that's that that that's what I was kind of thinking. I don't know. I don't I know she's kind of the that. instigator from him being in his head by himself. Yeah, because you know you don't want to just have him by, be by himself. He needs to talk to. Somebody. Yeah, that's not like, a whole chapter, really. You know, like who is he going to talk to? And it's like, well, Miss Sandy's need, Miss Sandy needs to show up, and she has a clear motivation. Like she she knows okay. that Skahas has closed the gates. And she wants to rescue her brother, um, and so you know that that plus it'll be short short chapter. I can't imagine it being more than four thousand words because it's like in the midst of battle. Now, for um, timing, we could even kind of have it that Missandei knows in advance that the gates are not going to open again. Like she's kind of oh, figured yeah. out the Skahas and Barristan thing. She's oh, not like reacting to it happening. <laughs> she's, she, she's she's smart enough to know. Like yeah she, yeah. So we don't have to think about it happening oh she's like coming yeah. from seeing it happening right. she just knows the, cool. the thing i haven't decided on is whether his dar is already executed or if he is executed if people know if the public knows you know and stuff like that mm. uh, you know the, the is Skaha smart enough to know that like he can he can uh use his dar as a, as a hostage or is, is he already dead but he's he's fearful to uh to to um to tell everyone and so I, the other thing I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with is, is should, should strong Belwas come with Missande to the pyramid to have another character, um, mm. to, to lighten the mood. Cause on the one hand, it's kind of like, it fits Missandei's per, uh, personality that she just appears, you know? Um, because that's what, what she does. Like people just look around and they're like, you know, oh, there's Miss Sandy standing there. Okay, right. She's been sneaking, there for how long? Right. Yeah, sneaking in like a faceless man, right? Like all the all the all the hints that that she might be a faceless man. Um, does it fit to bring Strong Belwas along as her like protector or or whatever to the um to the uh, to the pyramid or not? Um, it's more fun. Kind of gives Quentin someone more to bounce off of than Miss Sandy. I don't know how much he's gonna be able to like really 
go back and forth with her. Yeah. Given their personalities. And and I'm thinking about something about like, uh, you know, <laughs> this sounds very dirty. She could use the protection. <laughs> well, we t- Missandei claims to be 11. We don't know how old she is. I mean, uh, the, the, the waif looks like she's 11 and she's like 36, right? Yeah, we're rocking with a hyper competent Missandei in this yeah, uh, we are in this story right now. <laughs> yeah, so, but but then if we bring Strong Belwas along, then we can you know maybe maybe talk about House Paul and stuff like that. Like you know to get to the South Gate, you know if if Quentin needs to use his dragon to like get to the South Gate, then then uh, you know does he pa- does he pass by the the Pyramid of Paul and could something bad happen to to, to to strong Belwas because you know he killed a oh. person from from the from the house of Paul, you know. But I'm just trying to think of like all the loose threads that are left in the city um that need to be done. Like that's how like how crafting it, you know. We should bring them together sooner than later. Yeah. Right. And then from then and on plus, I was thinking like Belwas might like, kind of remind him of Arch a little bit. Yeah. Though I guess Bell in terms of like is skinny now. <laughs> oh well, how skinny can he really be? I mean, compared to old strong Bellwas, maybe. That's but yeah, true. I mean, that's true. That's true. Um, so in a sense, like you know, um, Quentin would have his own mo- motivation for for wanting to open the gates if you know his his friends are out there in the, in the windblown, but um. You know, she wants to get her brother as leading the mother's men, so she would want his her brother back um, to help him in. But you know, but uh, that, that that sort of sort of thinking. But then, then I started expanding off later. I'm just like, and then when 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 you start like breaking things down, isn't um, hey, hey, hey there, am I? Maybe maybe losing 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 people. Um, but anyway, that's that, that's my, my my kind of idea there. Um, and then you know maybe in the future, w- when Quentin is returning to to Westeros, is he gonna is he gonna have uh, um, Missandei with him? All right. I somehow have lost Will. Hello. Hmm? Hey there. Oh, hold on. Hey there. Hey, Victor, how's it going? V- Vidor, I'm sorry. What's hey, happening? <laughs> how's it going? I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, so now we have another editor with us too. Vidor, Will. Hey. Uh, I, I was, I, I don't know how much delay there is, but uh, I was listening to her talk about uh, Missandei and Quentin and Strong Bellas. But Belwas is with Barristan, man. Is is Belwas with Bel- Barristan? Did he leave the? Um... Yeah. I have to I have to check this again because if Barristan, I I didn't think he would be strong enough to battle. But if he's um, let me. I'm almost certain he is, man. Okay, okay. Let me let me. Appears on Barristan one wins. I think so. Let me let me bring up. Um. Let me see. Huh. I don't I don't see his name. I, I don't see his name in the search. But um I Bellas mm. might say something like let's kill some people or some people need to die or something in the last um chapter of in the uh, in the count in the council yeah the council he might say something about that anyway i have to go back and like look at that because it, do, it does make a big difference if bell is gonna be there or not yeah i don't remember okay. i can't uh um eventually I'm, we'll get back to i will get back that we'll get back to ironborn ironborn uh uh uh, uh songs in a second let me see a filter uncheck all this is where all right bell wasp what was the last thing you did 
in the Oh, okay. Um Yeah, he says White beard, Belos smiled, liver and onions. Strong Belos is not so strong as before. He must eat, get big again. They made strong Belos sick. Someone must die. So, um, on the one uh -huh. hand, and then he says, fire and blood, better than liver and onions. <laughs> and then he says, the spotted cat proposed to challenge the enemy to send forth a champion to face him in single combat. Strong Belwas liked that notion, but insisted that he should fight, not the cat. So, I mean, you're right in the sense that, like, he definitely wants to fight. But is he there? Man, oh man. Uh, I, I guess we could write it either way, really. We, we, yeah. we, shall, we shall see. We shall see. Okay. All right. The Lad from the Lonely Light um, from Meredith Faulkner Sutton. Uh, he was just a young lad when his father told him, you've got to go out on your own. This bed isn't yours, nor this house, nor this soil. Son, you can never come home. He sailed to the place where the sky meets the sea. He sailed from Skagos to Dorn. Did I already sing this one? <laughs> It sounds very similar to one. And I don't think so. A while he remembered those words, son, you could never come home. He breathed in the salt and counted the crows. He built houses of driftwood and foam. He learned to love waves and the changeable seas, knowing he could never go home. He was just an old man when he sat, saw that old isle, and he had never felt so alone. He knew not the houses. He knew not the soil. He had he had finally come home and he had never felt so alone. There's some good, there's some good stuff in there. There's some good stuff in there. The, um, a kiss from salty. Also, also some from Meredith. Um, imagine, uh, Ironborn improvising verses in between choruses. Oh, I see. Um, I don't want gold or jewels. I don't want land or trees. I don't want fur or perfume. A kiss from the salty. A kiss from salty is all I need. Uh, this reminds me because Salt, Salty is one of um, Arya's aliases, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's Salty because she's from Salt Hands. Salt, salt, salt yeah. Um, salty is lovely and sweet and a little bit sweet. And her seaweed hair and her crooked teeth. Never was a girl as wet as she. Ooh, <laughs> a kiss from Salty is all I need. I don't want gold or jewels. I don't want land or trees. I don't want furs or perfume. A kiss from Salty is all I need. <laughs> um, the Ghost of Winterfell. He gets his own song. The Kraken reached beyond the sea. I see what the Greenlands held. He wrapped his arms around the walls of stone and stole into winter's hell. The Kraken and his men and thralls fought bravely for their prize. They bled on stone and hill and snow, and bravely they all died. The Kraken's arms are never full, and now he pays the price. No river runs through Winterfell, their souls know only ice. That's a, a haunting little line there at the end, souls know under ice. Yeah, the last yeah. verse there is good. Yeah, I like that a lot. I also kind of like the Kraken's arms are never full. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, what made the Kraken red? What made the Kraken red? I heard it was his smile. He spit a tooth and grinned at you. I heard it was his smile. What made the Kraken red? I heard it was his sword. It bled from thralls and wives alike. I heard it was his sword. What makes the Kraken red? I heard it was his beard. Blood on his chin after he'd eat. I heard it was his beard. What made the kraken red? I heard it was his hair. A crown of kelp and seaweed braids. 
I heard it was his hair. And another from Meredith. She was very um, uh, prolific. Okay. The first to fall will take the shore, swallowed whole and taken home. The day the water rises, the valley low will be the shore. The grazing ghost grows scales and swim in water in rising water. The hill and grove will be the shore. The trees will wade and wallow. The day the water rises, the mountain top will be the shore and all the castles turn to ships or drown in rising water. The sky above will be the shore. The sun and storms will sink below. No more days when rising water. I sang that very badly, but there, there's some, um, there's some, th this, this is, this is, um, there's some really cool imagery here, almost in a patch face kind of sense even. Um, but yeah, the idea of the white rising water and, and goats growing scales and, and, uh, castles turning to ships and mountaintops becoming shores, like. This is some neat. No, I, I like all that. I like all that. I like how the uh, the repetition of the like the first lines there. Also, yeah. the previous song was very repetitive, which kind of gets at how these like group songs actually go. You know, they're always yeah. repetitive. So no, it I mean, seems realistic to me. There, there is something to like the 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 rep the rep the repetition and like the rowing and all that because rowing is mm -hmm. the, and being on a ship is boring and repetitive and we kind of yeah. think of like the. Uh, um, 99 bottles of beer on the wall kind of like aspect to it all. Yeah. And it just makes it easy for all these Ironborn to get you on the same that. page. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like there there yeah. was a really beautiful one back and I was like I was saying it was like far too intelligent for everybody. I was like, I imagine, like <laughs> Or you know, an Ironborn could sing it, but like one Ironborn bard or something could sing it to everyone. But right. these would be songs that everyone could sing along to at, at the same time. Yeah. Um I was because I, I think even in when we think of like um, like uh, Mance Raider playing songs at Winterfell, I think like everybody's always calling for like the simple lame like bow like body songs. Yeah, because they all want to join in and they all want to join in. You know. Um, Speaking so I, of, yeah, is there a finger dance you. song in here? Uh, <laughs> God, maybe now I have to write one too. <laughs> have it be about the finger dance. Um, let me see. Here. Not everyone is crazy Aquinas to sing the best song ever, right? The, wait, so there, um, no one mentioned the finger dance. I, I guess there's some other there's some other music stuff. I I, I I'm gonna oh, I, I accidentally hit my thing to make the. The, uh, how did this happen? I always have these technical problems and then, um, how did I get this? Why is this so large? Okay. I did a, I accidentally did a zoom in or something and, and I can't unzoom this. Fuck. I hate that. Happens to us all. I know. I know. It's like. I feel like my streams are like 90 90 percent technical difficulties um <clears throat> okay um let's do one more and then i'll find a i'll find another song here oh uh, where was i we were up at um crack and red <clears throat> the day the water ro rose the bloody cup by vince thompson <clears throat> With the wind behind and sails afore, we hold the line and pull the oar to bring the iron tide ashore and drink the bloody cup. With wine behind and sail afore, we heed again the call of war. The drowned god bids us all once more to drink the bloody cup. It's, um, that, that very much hits the mark. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a fun one. Yeah. 
I mean, the Bloody Cup is the is like a real real song um, in in story. We just don't know what it sounds like. Um, oh, I forgot that. Yeah, we only hear about two. I think it might be Steel Rain and and the Bloody Cup are the only ones that are like actual. Like the, we know the names, but but uh, we don't know like what they what they actually like sound like. Mm. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. Let's see if I can find another song. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Did I dare do this one? What is it may never die When you hear the wreathing cry Our anchors drop, we climb atop The part forgotten to protect The part that you neglect We've come to seize and collect what is it may never die The sirens dread when we sail by Our sails bring fear when we sail near The bay of any town shudders When we steer in in nine board rudders Our mark they will not soon forget what is dead may never die. What is dead may never die. But rises harder and stronger. That gives quite a, um, <clears throat> that's from Lincoln Maurice, gives, um, a lot more uh, um, atmosphere to it. Um, yeah, it's a very soulful yeah. idea of the Ironborn. Like that'd be a lot like, of them were just having to be idiots who are like violent. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like the one, um, the one like soulful <clears throat> Ironborn guy who's like drunk after the uh, after the whole evening and everyone's passed out and he's in the corner like singing that um, yeah but we know they have these these feelings i mean victorian even as crazy as he is has these like kind of wistful feelings about <laughs> what they're doing so it fits so. <clears throat> yeah i mean in a sense like <clears throat> the drunk rowdy stuff is to is to cover and and um like uh you know the the other feelings you know yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, tr they're trying to like push away the feeling of melancholy that their that their friends are dead and they're away from their family and, and right. And they're, but they're they are human beings, even the weirdest, me most messed up ones. <clears throat> You'll never outdrink a drowned man by Michael talks about stuff. Um, we ironborn march down to the sea where water crashes the land. We sink below the sea. We sink below the waves and let the drowned god take our hand. We drink and spit up his salty brew. We drink as much as we can. Oh, you'll never outdrink a drowned man. No, you'll never outdrink. You'll a never outdrink a drowned man. <laughs> once you've drunk, once you've drank with the drowned god, no ale is ever the same. It doesn't matter to drink you steal. It always feels so tame. We raid, we fight, we fuck, we drink until a man, until all men of land know they'll never outdrink a drowned man. No, you'll never outdrink. No, you'll never outdrink a drowned drown. man. <laughs> we'll fill our ships with salt wives and golden treasures of fine, but no treasures taste near half as good as golden arbor wine. So every time our ship sails south, we take as much as we can. Or you'll never outdrink a drowned man. No, you'll never outdrink a drowned, drowned man. man. 
a thirsty kraken brave and true rising with the tide my raiding party just set sail you've got no place to hide we'll do not so we raid we take we drink as much as we can oh you'll never i'll drink a drowned man no you'll never out drink a drowned man <laughs> I li- I certainly like the title. The title is uh is very strong. You'll never out drink a drowned man. The Merlin King's daughter. Now, the Merlin King is like kind of like East Coast, right? <laughs> I don't. Um, <laughs> it's like East Coast pirates, right? Uh, like Bravosi and stuff. Like East, I want I want to say. Um, uh, Velaryon, I think. So you mentioned the Merlin King. Oh, wait, it's one of the the ships, Merlin King. Uh, now I've got to like look this up. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the Velaryons. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right, Vitor. Um, yeah, the Merlin. It's a so- god associated with the narrow sea. The Valarians claimed they received the Driftwood Throne from the Merlin King. Yeah, you're you're, you're right. You're right. Um, and the helm of Manderley of House Hot, White Harbor depicts the Merlin King. And the rock formation in Black, Blackwater Bay is the spears of the Merlin King. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, the Merlin King's daughter is lissom and fast. She'll give you a ride when you run up the mast. She bobs up and down once you roll out the sheet. The luckiest maiden that you'll ever meet. She'll bring you much joy with your hand on the tiller. She's eager for plunder. I'm eager to fill her. She'll dance to the wave <laughs> with her scuppers all wet. <laughs> A more willing lady you'll never get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's some fun. There's some funny, clever ones. Rolling yeah. out the sheet. That's a good. That's a pretty good. Bobbing, bobbing up and down. That's that's um. There's that's funny. There's some funny stuff there. I can imagine Aaron singing that one easily. Um. Uh. Vitor, I I know you've read it, but um, Will, have you? Did you get to the like? Did you read through the Victorian uh, chapter once? Uh, uh, no, not yet, not yet. It's there's all this like ridiculous, um, uh, like in the middle of him being rather like cruel and sexual with the with the dusky woman. Like there's mm-hmm. odd there's odd Ironborn like references or like our odd ship references you know like you know his his you know like he was a his 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 manhood was a bow spread to that kind of stuff oh yeah you know, like, i see i see yes yes i i think yeah the, the little mates the yeah girl. the little mates we, we call her um the dusky woman's uh, clitoris is called the little mate. Mm. Yeah, it's a, um, it's a, it's a, it's a funny one. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird. <laughs> like the whole thing is creepy and weird. The whole thing is creepy and weird. Uh, the seal wife. This must be the the song about um, Eric Ironmaker's Asha Standin. Um, well, the girls up in Seaguard pay the iron price. And the girls at Flint's Finger don't need to ask twice. While the girls at the crag with noses in the air have lush golden locks that are really quite fair. But pity the ladies on yon lonely light. For though they'll give company all through the night, they'll soon sip away with nary a squeal. Go lie in a bed with a blubbery seal. (laughs) (laughs) And it's heave ho Nelly. Heave ho Nelly, my dear. They will soon slip away with their nary a squeal to go lie in a bed with a blubbery seal. 
<laughs> it was twilight one evening as we walked the shore when she told me in, in our love she wanted for more as i knew the girls that be greedy for wealth i asked what she meant being endowed myself but she said she didn't need gold or good times nor romance or poetry not with rhymes instead she need she had of me only one wish that i wear a, se a seal skin and bugger a fish <laughs> And it's heave ho Nelly, bump, stump, stump, heave ho Nelly, my dear. Instead, she had uh, me one single wish that I wear a seal skin and bugger a fish. I paid that we marry, and she did say yes, but we went to a drowned man, and he could be blessed. And after drinking and feasting was done, I'd after she, she'd secret, and she said she had none. And we went to the bedden in her finest sheets, proceeded with Doc and the Salt King's great fleet. And when she saw it, I, we I swear on my life, she had flippers for feet. Quite a real fishwife. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and it's heave ho, Nelly. Stump, stump, stump. Heave ho, Nelly, my dear. It was then that I saw it, and I swear on my wife. She had a flipper for feet. Quite a real fish wife. Oh, my. I kind of love that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it makes me think of um, Miranda Royce being racist about the sister men, right? Oh, yeah. Right. Because um, maybe that kind of prejudice is a uh, widespread. We have these people who we think are not real humans. They're part fish. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But there, there, you know, there must be those like same jokes about like the um, the the people from Lonely Light, like right, you know, like everybody, everybody from yeah, yeah. So it makes total sense. Yeah, like everybody from like um, uh, whatever, like Hickville, uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Like people make jokes no matter what the country that um, mm -hmm. people have sex with animals. Like that's just like a standard. You go to any country. And they, they, they have their poor folk and they're like, well, yeah, they, 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 you know, have sex with sheep out there or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So it must be, it must be that they think like people from the lonely light would be, would be sleeping with seals and who knows with their skin changing, maybe they do. Um, <laughs> I really, man, I really wish I had a nope. If I could get, I really wish I could get my, this thing to, to shrink again, whatever I did. <sighs> Will we make Farwind appear again? Or did he went to Lonely Light after the King's Moot and never will come back again? It's a good question. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've thought like, like the the Farwinds themselves, like you think, like one of them would 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 reappear, like Gilbert Farwind, but like going to Lonely Light itself, I don't know. Um, like right now, that that area of the world has very few characters in the vicinity, and I did think about like what if you what if Area Hotel were somehow convinced that that um, uh, Marcella was taken back to the Iron Isles. And that he needed to go to the Iron Isles to like rescue her. Um, that you could you could bring a POV there, and it would be kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, maybe in the tenth Area Hota chapter. We can the go area Hota chapter. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. But um, it de it definitely was a thought of mine of, of like, well, what what's an interesting like place for them to, to go? Like, so so you remember that you remember the um the episode of, of game of Thrones where uh, everybody, uh, I think it's called North of the wall where everybody, um, you know, you've got all these like characters who have never interacted before, you know, like Gendry and, and the hound and, and um, Jorah and John and, and they're all North of the wall and they're supposed to have Is that Brienne and Tormund's meeting and stuff yeah. like that. And, you know, there's some like I, I think that like the concept I really love having characters that have never met before all of a sudden interacting like there's something brilliant about like taking Stannis and shoving him up in the John chapters and everything shifting, you know, 
uh, and Jora meeting, 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 yes. And Jora meeting um, Tyrion and all sorts of stuff like that. It's, it's like really great. Um, I think they kind of dropped the ball in Game of Thrones because they didn't end up having any, any interesting conversations, you know, or the, their conversations were weird and just like not what I would have expected these characters to say to each other, you know. Um, but, uh, but nonetheless, like, I like the idea of characters who have never been around each other, like, like it being like a boggle, you know, you like shake it up and, and now the characters are interacting with different characters, you know? So like, yeah, this is why yeah. I was talking about like, um, Quentin, like heading back to Westeros with Miss Sandy, you know, and like that being a, a new interaction. Um, yeah, these are new dynamics, new like interactions we can think about. <clears throat> right. Ariel Hota with Euron is like, you know, somehow making that happen is such like, so, like I've got to like think about it, you know, like, and, and or, you know, going to the Iron Isles and meet, meeting these characters like Eric Ironmaker and, and, and Gilbert Farwin and stuff, you know, or w when Asha got picked up by Stannis, though, like that was pretty cool. That was also really cool. Like Stannis is like going through all of these different stories, you know? Um, so that's always on my mind, you know, like, like, how to how to take characters who have never been together and then like popping them together and changing the story um in fact i was thinking about like arch and drink if they if like arch or drink is captured by the ironborn and becomes like a thrall and is like with victarian while yeah you know while the other one like arch is like you know like or and then like arch is left in Marine and then Quentin goes home and the three our three Dornish knights are like separated for a long time, you know, to eventually come back together. The Ironborn are just really convenient for this whole concept because they, you know, they're, they're on a ship. They can pick yeah. someone up. And drag, <laughs> they can go elsewhere. Drag them somewhere yeah. else. Right. Yeah. They solve all these plot problems. We want to get a character together. The Ironborn are the way to do it. Right. And, and almost like some of the weirdest like, I'm just like, who can show up in Starfall? And it's like, the only person that really makes sense is Aaron. And that, like, that is like almost the weirdest thing by itself. Because I'm trying to think of like the character that least would fit with Starfall. Like this land of, of like, mysterious noble knights and colorful towers and honor and, and, and pale stone swords. And, and, and then you just get aaron showing up there like it's it's it's, it's 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 such a weird idea that it's just like so like it's so perfect but i just like how to get him there is like is um this beautiful yeah. landscape aaron just hates it he's scowling right. at it all all these it's not the sea all these, all these beautiful women with violet eyes and bring stuff. me the salt water again <laughs> it's like get me on a boat um <laughs> john's parents are moon boy for all i know Got the super chat. Victorian trap album when? I don't know. Um the um the demands by Daniel Horn. Um well we'll have drinks, drinks, drinks. No matter what the rocking thinks, then we'll take a few maidens from the shore. So when the ale is cut with water, we'll make each drowned god's daughter till we get the hard stuff back and twice as full. And we'll have meat, 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 like cows, innards, and pigs' feet. And we'll quaff and gnaw like this until we're full. But it's the food we get is dry. Then we'll make the, their weans cry. And we'll burn and roast the new, new feast to devour. Then we'll have gold, 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 until it spills out from the holds. And any other treasures for the keeps. Then if the septons raise a hand, we'll set their fingers in the sand and we'll make them wave our ships out from the bay. This one's certainly different. Um, the anti septon prejudice is coming. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's good. Drinks meat gold. I do like this one. Okay. Um, a way for iron by John Anderson. I'll sing you a song, a good song of the sea, a way for iron. I'll sing it to you if you'll sing it with me. And we're bound for the Iron Islands. And it's a way for iron, a way for iron. 
We'll reave what we fell with mates who are good and well, for we're bound for the Iron Islands. I'm getting meter completely fucked up. <laughs> We've pulled the anchor and all men's on a ship away for iron. Heave up the sails and give us slug a beds a whip. And we're bound for the Iron Isles. What, what, what's a slug a bed? Do you, do you know this word? It's like a layabout. Oh, you know. Okay. This is this lazy is... bones. <laughs> lazy bones. Interesting. I've <laughs> Um, the anchor is weighed and the sails they are set away for iron and the girls we fucked we'll never forget and we're bound for the iron isles <laughs> we took a new salt wife in a village on last away for iron I beat her to learn who's better on her to pray and we're bound for the iron isles we hanged one septon from our mast away for iron but their gods are false and we won't be the last and we're bound for the Iron Isles. Heave willow boys, heave long, heave strong, away for iron. Sing a good chorus and tis a good song and we're bound for the Iron Islands. Feels like this song was written by Euron. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, said, yeah. Who's going to sing it for him on his boat? It's pretty, uh, it's pretty cruel. That's the, that's the funny thing. Um, and I and I and I did when when you brought up the the song thing, and I was like, oh, like there there is something incredible about the fact that like on the silence, everyone's mute, so there's no singing. Mm -hmm. And Aaron used to be a huge singer, and then stopped when he became like religious, and so there's something too like Aaron being tied to the prow, like. And finally breaking out into a song, you know, he has break. to sing on the silence. It's too yeah, good. It is, yeah. He to has to it. sing yeah. on the silence. He has to break the silence, essentially. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, you know, for whatever reason, and uh, so like somehow during somehow during the battle of blood, like he needs to be singing. Um, which... And I do like it just being some you know, girl chasing song from <laughs> that he remembers yeah. from doing in bars, you know? Hmm. Uh, you think that uh, Euron cuts the uh, the mood stungs uh, because he's hiding like a big secret or something like that? I think in my... Or just cruelty. And... Well... In my, um, in my, with my most like crackpot, I would say that like, you can, there, there's no way to actually function a ship if everyone was mute. Okay. Like, like sailing a ship requires dozens of men screaming at each other to do very dangerous tasks. Like you need to throw the anchor, raise the mask, grab me that rope, get the rudder. Like there's, there's no possible way that you could ever, ever, ever in a million years like sail a ship without people like being able to scream commands at each other. And so like now it's George R. Martin. So I don't know if like he knows that, <laughs> like, you know, or like thought through that logic of like, yeah, that's 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 stupid. Like you cannot have everybody be silent. So my, my crackpot theory was that you're on can send them telepathic messages and that they're telepathically like connected to each other. And like, you know, and that somehow that's how the, the ship functions. Um, but that does seem like a bit much, right? <laughs> like they're all telepathically connected, these human beings, but. Yeah, uh, this is brand level telepathy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, Do even, we know that their tongues are cut out? We don't know for sure. It's like the rumor. Yeah. Okay. I mean, maybe they just talk on the boat and they don't, you know, do it in public. In fact, even Felice Flowers, like when she's tied to the prow and he's like, he's like, she didn't say anything because her tongue's been cut out. Well, he doesn't know that. She could have just not said anything, right? Like he doesn't yeah, know, yeah. He doesn't know any of this. Like he can't just, check. He can't check. Right. So it's, it's, it's a supposition, but yeah. So okay. no. They, they might not actually be mutes. Like they talk, if they talk all the time, like, 
<laughs> like Silent Bob. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's not silent at all. Um, Don't Be Afraid, Little Reaver by Ragged Blossom. Don't be afraid, little reaver, that his salt breath in your face. Be brave, little reaver, be brave. His hall is a better place. Don't be afraid, little reaver, that's his kiss on your brow. Be brave, little reaver, be brave. You're going there now. Don't be afraid, little reaver, below he's preparing your bed. Be brave, little reaver, be brave as his arms fold over your head. Don't be afraid, little reaver, your lungs breathe water now. Be brave, little reaver, be brave. That's his salt kiss on your brow. That's like um, the, uh, um, I don't know if that's like a lullaby for children. <laughs> Just a nursery rhyme of some kind, but yeah, I like it. Cause of course there's gonna be songs for kids. Um, Yo ho ho with a yo ho by dasa girl pop with a yo ho ho and a yee hee hee we'll take the sunset sea we'll wave our knives and salt your wife's ironborn pirates we <laughs> i uh i like the salt for wives <laughs> we'll salt your wives yeah that's kind of a there's a kind of a triple meaning there right you know yeah. like you, you know you're you're the ocean coming in to salt the wife they're making them salt wives, but then, you know, semen is filled with salt. So we're salt. Assault. <laughs> oh, it's true. Assault as well. Assault your wife. So we've got, we've got a uh, quadruple meaning for salt your wives. <laughs> I don't know why I came with up with, uh, um, merry old land of Oz for that one. With a yo-ho-ho, a yee hee hee and a very old, and a very old tra-la-la. We'll take the sunset sea. Um, let's see here. Um, in vain. In vain they'll go, running with the waters. Their pain will sow, coming from the waters. Red tide pull in and break their men. Seek, find, crush. We'll take and steal uh, the iron deal, red tide flush. Flush. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they use <laughs> the, the other thing where you're like, does does George R. R. Martin use the term flush as in like flush something out with water, or does he only use flush as in like flush face? Flushed, flushed, flushed. Flush of shame, flush. Her face flushed. Yeah, I think it's only so far. It's well, I'm only in Game of Thrones, but who knows? But it's only as they waded across. They're singing "Flushed a Duck from Among the Reeds." <laughs> Storm of Swords. Flushed the 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 what? A duck from among duck. the reeds. Oh, like you're flushing the duck out of out from the reeds. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And that guy shoots it. Iron Maiden <laughs> by Hype House Homie. Put them in the Iron Maiden. Excellent. Okay. Um. Iron Maiden clasped between iron, my maiden of the sea, punctured by my desires. I shan't let you leave. This one makes me think. <laughs> this, uh... The puncturing imagery fits what we know about the Ironborn. Yeah. As established. Uh... But this is established more as what people think of the Ironborn. I don't know what the Ironborn think of themselves. Mm. Yeah, I see what you're saying. True. Sure. Sure. So you put it, yeah. So he's like the Iron Maiden for the. Or who's in the Iron Maiden? Punctured by my desires, I shan't let you leave. Because he's not letting her leave. Oh, he's punctured by she's punctured by his desires. So it's kind of like his dick is like 
the iron blade. <laughs> Do we have a uh, this torture device in the story? That's a very good question. Everyone yeah, just gets they, burned, right? Yeah. You know, they say that like Iron Maidens were for the most part um a uh I mean modern vicious. Like they didn't really have it. Ooh, there is an there's one Iron Maiden. Oh wait. No 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 no. I'm sorry. There's an iron it's an iron maiden in the sense that like a maiden named made of iron. I I, mm. I on her prow was a black iron maiden with one arm outstretched. Her waist was slender. Um, I guess that's the silence itself has a, has a, has a black iron maiden. <sighs> would would this song would, sounds like Euron, actually? Yeah. The um. I mean, you know, but what, 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 you know, Iron Maidens didn't really exist historically or they were there, they are for like, um, shows like people didn't really put people in Iron Maidens, but like, it, it was always something Never like that tor in torture galleys and stuff. They like have them and they're like, aha, look at that. You know, it's like, it's like, uh, it's like chastity belts, like different, you know, chastity belts didn't really like, <laughs> they're so impractical, the idea, but we have this idea of them and we see them in, in like displays, but like, um. And so, but George R. R. Martin also like puts things that weren't historically accurate into his stories, um, yeah. all the time. Like, uh, the, like, like the Lord's right to the first night. That wasn't really a thing historically. It's a really dumb idea. Um, but yet there's like this rumor that the Lord's right to the first night existed. And then it's in ice and fire, you know? Um, so like, do iron maidens exist? I, I, I don't know. Did, did, did they could. Did Euron put the Iron Maiden on his silence in order to evoke the pun of an Iron Maiden? Huh. Or did George do it to evoke the band? <laughs> <laughs> the only bands George knows are like hippie bands from the 60s and 70s. Probably true. Yeah. Oh. Okay. He actually did do a little bit of punk research for um, the Armageddon rag. But uh, um, I love the sea by Jennifer Kelly. I have a love. I love the sea. She holds me and rocks me and won't let me be. Her loving embrace is comfort to me. Sometimes her wrath threatens to make a wreck of me. Send me down to her krakens and creatures yet to be seen. Though I know they be here, hidden under the sea, I love her so much, and hope upon hope that she loves me. Well, this one's just nice. <laughs> yeah. I suppose, like, not every Ironborn song would be, like, brutal about, like, raping and pillaging, right? Like, some of them must be just, like, I like fishing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, Aaron takes emotional comfort literally just in being in the water. Mm -hmm. So this is a familiar, like, idea. Yeah. Um, Religious Hymn by Hype House Homie. When I open my mouth, water rushes in. When I begin to drown... I am purged of all of my sin. So we good. Do um, Ironborn believe in sin? It's a good question. Um, certainly the faith of the seven does, but let's see yeah. here. Let's go with um, uh, Aaron Greyjoy. Does he say sin? <clears throat> I was weak and full of sin. He describes yeah. sin. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess so. It's, you know, same, same sort of stuff that like drinking and fucking and everything was, was sinful to him. Which is, odd, which is also kind of odd, you know, like <laughs> considering that they're a reaving culture. Like what? what's his sin? 
Yeah, not... he's in favor of the old way. Like, yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay, drinking rum by HHPW7TI. Drinking rum, finger in the bum. I think that's inspired by um, uh, the show a bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Game of Thrones on HBO. All right. I think I've got just like three more. I mean, I have many. I actually have another like 20 or so, but I think. Oh, my God. I know. I think. That Do you I have mine on here? This this was like I've got like fifty two here that I that I brought over, but I think there's even more that I didn't bring over. But I'm not going to get them to, to them today because I think we've I think I've gone through a lot a lot here. You're gonna lose your singing voice. You gotta watch out for that. I don't know if I ever had it. I don't know if I ever had it. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Man Without an Oar by Aaron Hall. Row Ironborn. Keep, come sweep your oars upon the pitching gray expanse. With salt, with stone, with steel, we're blessed to rape and reeve and finger dance. Ah, we do get a mention of the finger dance. There we go. Yes. To drink and dice, to drink and dice and finger dance. Safe version. That's for the, the, the Walmarts, you know, <laughs> the, the, mm. the album. Um, <clears throat> you know, the, the parent advisory. Yeah. Tipper Row- work. Row harder, ironborn of pike, where krakens sit the sea stone chair. Row stronger, men of holy wick, where priests thread seaweed through their hair. Row harder, men of scythe formed wick, with fields too far from foam to drown. Row stronger, men of orkmen bear, where salt kings first wore driftwood crowns. And row salt cliff and row black tide, your sheep and mermaids need not hide. Row harlaw men, row strong and hard, your riches won't from drowning guard. Away from shore, no man's more poor than a man without an oar. And the rise of the blood red tide by Gisli Gattison. Um, can you hear the whisper on the wind? Carry forth a salty grave. Carnage waits for you and your kin who canter on the red tide's waves. Ka, ka, Ra- cages round us storm gods made, carved apart from forest and plains. Candles dwin in the fray, chasms from the reaver's way. Ka, ka, can you read the tide's grim, grim wrath? Carry forth the red tide's wave. Come to my halls with your once. Cold grave finds you all the same. Ka, ka. Cascades of blood will be our price. Carnage feeds the re- the blood red tide. Carnal lusts and reavers likes. Call us from the Iron Isles. Ka, ka. Captain King, feel the red tide rise. Carry forth the blood red eve. Calling me is my wet demise. Calm I am, for in life I was free. Now, I think on this one, the um, the ka-ka was supposedly like a gibberish sound that came from some old tongue. But like Victorian, I think, like wonders if it has to do with a, a crow. But, or, mm. or, yeah, yeah w- 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 that was the explanation I think in, in, in the in the email about it. Um. <clears throat> That's a good thing. My my, we're coming to at least the end of this list, and then um, oh, there's more. There's freaking more. Uh, <clears throat> okay, last one for today. Oh, maybe I'll, maybe I'll play another song if, the, if, I have another, if I can find another song. I have a song. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to play uh, it now or, or after I finish this Red Kraken? I can, I, I can sing it now, yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, it's called The Grey King's Last Song. <clears throat> the... Gr- the Grey King's gone to feast, the Grey King's gone to rest. In the, re- in the watery halls he went at last, the mermaid served him best. 
no longer walked with men, no longer burned his fire. The god's sorrow grew so dire, waves crashed upon his pyre. Stolen by the sea, the grey king's halls are gone. Nothing there remains, only Naga's bones. No more songs and feasts, only Naga's bones. Only Naga's bones. Yeah, I like That's that. And, and also, Woo. big, big props for Sam. Hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> the red um the red kraken by kosh the quick um here reeves the red kraken to take your gold and maiden then soon after the tonguing is done then comes the nightfall too here reeves the red kraken to take your gold and maiden then soon after the tonguing is done there comes the nightfall too Tongwin? Tongwin? Tongwin. Tongwin? Yeah, uh, a sk uh, I don't know. Tonguing? Tonguing? Um... Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. This has some nice this has some nice lines, but I don't I A C don't term for butchering? Is that true? I have no idea. I don't know. You could tell me that's true, I would believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Tongwing. Sea butchering? Carmine, our voices are not made for this either. <laughs> Only uh, Gladys. Yeah, yeah. With, with, with like backup, backup uh, accompaniment of himself as well. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 Okay, let's see if I have any more. Oh, the R. The Iron Price. It's just, let's see. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. For I'll be paying with the iron price. I need a longer blade and stronger shield. Need a longer blade and stronger shield. Need a longer blade and stronger shield. I'll be paying with the iron price. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. Leave the gold behind and she bring the sharpened steel. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. I'll be praying with the iron price. Need a dress for my wife and a blanket for the babe. Need a dress for the wife and a blanket for the babe. Need a dress for the wife and a blanket for the babe. I'll be paying with the iron price. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. I'll be paying with the iron price. Need a thrall in the mine and a thrall in the field. Need a thrall in the mine and a thrall in the field. Need a thrall in the mine and a thrall in the field. I'll be paying with the iron price. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharpened steel. I'll be paying with the iron price. I need a better life and I need a better wife. Oh, I need a better life and I need a better wife. Oh, I need a better life and I need a better wife. And I'll be paying with the iron price. 
Leave the gold behind and bring the sharp and steel. Leave the gold behind and leave the sharp and steel. Leave the gold behind and bring the sharp and steel. I'll be paying with the iron price. <clears throat> really good. I mean, uh, I'm imagining like a, a small store in Lord Sports with a sign We don't accept the iron price. <laughs> This is uh this was uh Jonah Jonah Adams by the way is the the one singing here. Pro props to props, him. Props. Yeah, the props. um I, I I laughed so much I was just chuckling at like my my wife needs a new dress so I got to get my <laughs> shit and go read. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a funny concept. <laughs> Honestly, like the the scene in the show where Theon is getting dressed down by Balon for not having paid with the iron price is like one of the best scenes I think in the show. And it's like horrific and funny at the same time. Like, how did Theon fuck this up so bad? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Like, like thinking but the the Balon actor, I don't know his name, is is just so good. I had an island flowing with wine, red and gold in the warm sunshine. My ship's belly and mine grew, and those of my many wives too. Raise my thralls and grow my vines. I'll be back for what is mine. I had an island covered in shields, big stone fort and sheep in the fields. Through the mist I surprised my foes, gave the worthy to the sea and cowards to the crows. Raise my thralls and grow my vines, I'll be back for what is mine. I had an island hairy with trees, bears between them living like fleas. The trees became my greatest halls, the bears became my greatest thralls. Raise my thralls and grow my vines, I'll be back for what is mine. I had a land swimming with fish and rivers more wide than I could have wished. Dragons chased me from my land, but not from my floating island. Raise my thralls and grow my vines. I'll be back for what is mine. Wow, that was really fun. That was that was uh yeah, like John 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 Denver John Denver uh, Ironborn. Sure, Young Aaron could sing. That's true. Something like that for sure. Is that uh, Jonah again? Yeah, that is. Gentle props, props again. Mother, this is him as well. For hmm. the, yeah. Gentle mother, font of mercy, save our sons from war, we pray. Stay the swords and stay the arrows. Let them know a better day gentle mother strength of women help our daughters through this fray soothe the wrath and tame the fury teach us all a kinder way I mean, great, great stuff. This is just so much fun. <laughs> I'm ready to stop being the hounds yeah. after hearing that. Um, it's funny that he brings up like the sunshine on my shoulders. I don't know if you got, uh, there's this show called Upright Citizens Brigade, which was Amy Poller's like improv group. They had a show in Comedy Central. They have a skit where there's this like John Denver Appreciation Society, but all they do is sing like, like John Denver songs, but half of the words are replaced with the word nutsack. Cause they're like, Oh, the censor is like, they censored like the real, like, like the John right. Denver lyrics. And he's like, sunshine on my nutsack makes me happy. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. Did I get Let's see if what other songs that might be. I don't know if I'm missing missing uh, any any other any other songs. I brought songs. I brought songs. I brought songs. I brought songs. Lincoln. We heard Lincoln. We heard Cold to Know. We heard watery halls. We 
heard Harlan Bird's Iron Sun. I feel like there were some others, but for some reason they're you know they're not they're not necessarily like showing up for me with with my uh, with my um, uh, attachments here for like quick access. But um, it's like you get, it's like sorry for like going through like my 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 uh, email for for the uh, for uh, oh no no okay for uh, for uh, everything okay um I think that's good for now um thank you guys for uh for for joining me um any thank any, you for all your beautiful singing. Oh, thank yeah. you everyone we who submitted. Get, we didn't even get through them all. We didn't even get through them all. Okay, I, I have to like in a future stream like do a few more until wrap it up in the in the next stream. Yeah, yeah. But man, oh man. But yeah, thank you, thank you everyone for uh, for for submitting. And if I didn't get to yours, I'm sorry. I'll I'll get to get to it in the future. But uh, especially the songs were pretty 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 fun. And um, man. Um, yeah, the quality was really high. I'm glad I used my one time to request something of the community, and it was on this. I'm not trying to steer the fanfic in any other way. This was it, <laughs> and I'm satisfied. Yeah, v Vitor, you 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 you'll, you'll get like one one request like this. <laughs> you got to think about what your what your one request is going to be. Okay. <laughs> Ironborn, Ironborn songs. Oh man. Oh, but I, I did not know that this that this was going to happen when it when it when I put it out I was, I was like maybe I'll get like 20 20 submissions not not like literally close to 100 you know so anyway 52 songs that makes a calendar oh it was it's actually more that's what I'm saying it's actually close to close to um <laughs> the reigns of Castamere and the tunes of Toto's Africa <laughs> <laughs> after the, after the cast in the air. What, what, what are the lyrics on there? Like, like the most inappropriate tune that you like actually think would like reigns like reigns of Castamere would be. Um, let's see. And so we spoke, and so we spoke, the Lord of Castamere. But now the rains that weep his halls, and no one here. Yes, now the rains weep. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that is that the only okay? The ref we don't have we don't have the chorus. We just have the, re the refrain. Okay. And so who are you, the proud Lord said, that I must bow so low, only cats. That doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> In a coat of gold, coat of red. That is the Lord of Castamere. I have to, I have to, we'll have to work it out. We have to work it out yeah, yeah. somehow. <laughs> I like it. All right, thank thank you, gentlemen, for being with me. Um, thank you, thank you, everyone, for writing in. And uh, hope to, oh, I don't know, I don't know if this was painful or funny or fun or what, but uh, this is what we did. It was a good time. This is what we did. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Thanks for having us on. Hey, thank you guys. Yeah, All right, thank talk you. To you guys thank soon. you a lot. <laughs> All right, bye. Thanks.